of the four numbers represented on the number line above is r closest to zero? Well, first of all, just to comment on this diagram, we are not guaranteed that the numbers are exactly evenly spaced. We do know that the diagram is drawn to scale, so we would have to conclude that the numbers are very close to being drawn evenly spaced. They're very, they could be very close to being evenly spaced, or they could be exactly evenly spaced. We don't actually know that from the diagram. So statement number one tells us that Q equals negative S. Technically, the way to say that mathematically, Q equals the opposite of S. Well, what that means is, of course, Q is more to the left, so Q is going to have to be the negative number. S is going to be the positive number. So they're positive and negative of each other. They have the same absolute value, which means they have the same distance from zero. So it means that zero would be halfway between them. Well, again, we have no guarantee that R is exactly halfway between them. But in other words, R is, very, is certainly very close to halfway between them. And if zero were halfway between R, between Q and S, R by far would be the closest to it. So R is the closest to zero. This is true. So this statement by itself is sufficient to answer the question. Now statement number two. Forget statement number one, focus exclusively on statement number two, and we get an inequality. Negative t is less than q. Well, it's the nature of inequalities, and inequality gives you less information than an equation. So it's harder to have sufficient information when you have an inequality. That's just something to keep in mind. So t, negative t is going to be less than q. Well, of course, one possibility would be if we had the numbers negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And so then if t is 2 and q is negative 1, then negative t would in fact be less than q. And here r equals 0, so r is the one closest to 0. But another possibility would we, we have 5, 10, 15, and 20. Well, if we have 5, 10, 15, and 20, Q is 5, T is 20, so negative 20, of course, is less than positive 5. But here, R is not the closest to 0. In fact, here, Q would be the closest to 0. So in other words, consistent with this inequality, we can construct different cases, some of which have R the closest to 0, and some of which have something other than R as the closest to 0. So that means that this inequality by itself is not sufficient to answer the question. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is not sufficient. Answer choice A.